Oh, I'm GBBG! Yo, BBGs, we back with another BBG Talks episode! Yep, yeah, it's nice to be back talking to you guys once in a while, and uh, today we're gonna be talking about a bunch of news and actually. A lot of stuff, man. Yo, this is a hyped up episode of BBG Talks. So let's dive right in. We're gonna talk about some new base, we're gonna talk about the anime, and then of course we're gonna talk about some of your comments. So yeah, let's dive in. Very first thing, new bay. We have Hollow Death Sight there. Yeah, a oh. lot of hype, like a Yo. bunch of hype, a yeah. uh, bunch of comments about Hollow Death Sight there and how like Daigo was really missed. Yeah, man. And now he's back. We haven't seen a Death Scyther base since Evolution, right? So skipped Chozy, right? Skipped GT, skipped Sparking, <laughs> pretty much. Like yep. we still don't see his character yet. Um, probably not gonna make an appearance, but it would be cool if he did pull off like something crazy. All yeah. of a sudden, it's like, boom, Daigo's in there. It might be just a manga thing, but yeah. uh, at least we have a new product with mm. his Death Scyther Bay. So, yeah. showing you guys pictures here, it looks very similar to Killer yeah. Death Scyther. I was just saying that it doesn't look very dr like drastically different, right? Like, it does hold true to uh, that Death Scyther design. The good thing, though, is that we are seeing a lot of comments about it being, um, like, you know, pretty much fully metal, almost, in the lair. Yeah. So, all those blades are going to be featuring a bunch of metal parts. It looks pretty plastic to me though, but yeah, uh, I think apparently they're supposed to be underneath somewhere. Yeah. On the fight scythe, hopefully. Yeah. So it's supposed to be like uh, metal in like different areas of the lair, apparently. Um, but obviously like, hopefully we can get a closer look soon. Yeah, so one interesting thing, you know, as we were looking at the list of parts that it comes with, um, the chassis are back. So yep. we know that's not going to be like a limit break bay. Mm. Um, so I guess we're not totally moving towards that direction. Yep. Mm -hmm. uh, we have a attack chassis, so 4A chassis, which yep. is brand new. A single chassis. Uh, weight distribution is going to be you know, pretty nice, I think, to get some variety with an attack chassis. Uh, excited about that. Yeah, high SL dash as well. So it's going to be one of those taller drivers too, right? So now we're seeing it in like a main release. Um, during the last release, we saw those high drivers kind of like on nobodies. So now this is actually like a stock combo that comes with a higher driver. Yeah, but when you look at like the whole thing though, all the parts and stuff like that, it doesn't seem that like overwhelming. Yeah. You don't have like that much of a selling point. Like there's no yeah. huge gimmicks. It's just yeah, like, yeah. okay, you get to that side there. It's a sparking bay. Right? Yeah, it's just like a sparking bay. Sparking bay. Yeah. yeah, a bunch of you guys are super excited about the bay. We are as well. Um, Daigo is definitely like a really popular character, especially in the Japanese community. So yeah. there's a lot of hype happening there. Um, the parts though, like although there's metal, it seems like it might not be like the best performing bay though. You never know. Yeah. Uh, some people are underwhelmed by that attribute. It honestly, it might end up being like a Lord Spriggan type of thing, where you know, we see such an awesome bay, and we're like oh Daigo's back, but Daigo's not really back. You know what I mean? <laughs> Um, so, yeah, you got like a bit of mixed feelings with this release, but overall though, man, just bring back Death Scyther's sick. Yeah. Um, and, and of course, like we haven't mentioned yet, it's coming in a random booster. Exactly, I was about yeah. to say that. Yeah, a so you get a lot of other parts that you can get from the booster. Yeah. Uh, you could get a Hollow Valkyrie, Abyss Longinus, Curse Death Scyther, Dead Phoenix, yeah. Archer Hercules, Storm Pegasus in the green color. Dude, that Archer Hercules is so lame. <laughs> That is such a lame, like, bay to put into. Because it's so into. old, right? Oh, man. Yeah, but the color scheme is nice. The color scheme uh, looks a lot like um, the ones that were featured in GT previously, like in the anime. Yeah, we've got a Drasil too. Yeah, Drasil, nice. uh, Death, Death Phoenix. It's nice to see that red color. Uh, but man, there's so many Phoenix bays that have come out. Like, we have, like, so many armor pieces now. It's yeah. still ridiculous that they put turbo bays into... A sparking honestly, release. A sparking release. It's crazy. Yeah. Like, you guys could up the value a little bit, right? <laughs> but uh, whatever, whatever. I won't be too mad about it. They're giving us Death Scyther back. So. That's probably why they, they afforded yeah. to put in the crappy ones yeah. in there because they have the Death Scyther yeah. in there. <laughs> Takara told me he's basically like, we know that this is going to sell. Like everyone wants to get this one. So uh, exactly. let's just throw in all the cheap stuff. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. This is a December release, so we should be seeing this pretty soon. Yeah, towards the end of uh, the month here. It's going to be pretty exciting. Uh, but yeah, can't wait to actually unbox it and see what our new Death Scyther is like with this new evolution. But uh, we got some other big news too, actually. Let's move on to the anime. Oh man. And so the anime itself, we're not going to talk about the actual Sparking series. We're talking about some other stuff here. 
go oh, ahead. You mean, on them. You mean not, on. not the not the actual enime itself? Yeah, not like, the actual. Not the, not the current, sparking yeah, current yeah, stuff. Not, exactly. Well, season no, no. six is officially yeah, announced. Crazy. Beyblade Burst is continuing, guys. So coming uh, twenty twenty one spring. We are getting a whole new season of Beyblade anime. Yeah, so this was confirmed on Twitter by the official Beyblade Takeratomi channel. Yeah. So, yeah, you're gonna be seeing Beyblade Burst come back in season six. Yo, it's crazy. Did you guys expect this? We all thought Sparking was gonna be like the last yo, season, actually, right? Yeah, actually, yeah. They were like leading it up to be like the final season because, like, yo, these guys are legends now already, right? There's no one. That's like, you know, cooler than these legends. Yeah, they really like, put, stronger. they like basically put everything in the back, like all yeah. the eggs in the basket yeah, in exactly. this season. It like, felt like that. Shu came back, you yeah. know, you bought a bunch of like metal stuff, yeah. like two new systems, the chassis yeah. stuff and the limit break stuff. Yeah. But Beyblade is not slowing down, guys. Like it's the sales sick. are just going like higher and higher. And Match it just up. doesn't make sense for the company to, exactly. to stop, right? Yeah, why cut it off now? Especially with Hasbro too, like they're pumping out Pro Series and you know Speedstorm stuff. Like, yo, it's like a hype season, man. Yeah. So you know, don't stop the momentum. It's funny though, cause like you know all these like toy series and like product series usually ends after like three seasons, three or yeah. four seasons, right? Yeah. It, like there's a decline in like some sales, and they want to push something else. Yeah. But it's weird that Baby Lake Burst. It seems like it's not stopping. Yeah, it's going on that long. It's pretty crazy, guys. So I'm. So I really feel like. Sparking was going to be like the last season, but all the fans came in together like the community like you guys all Hyped up the series and you guys got the goods you guys are like watching the anime and stuff like that And they really wanted to push it for another season. Maybe yeah, that could be it you I know? think, I think yeah. that's it. Yeah, hopefully um, The good news is that yeah, like maybe there's gonna be a season 7 who knows right like at this rate Based off you know how we felt with sparking we thought it was the end, but it wasn't maybe 6 won't be the end either, right? Yeah, so this could be a thing that's like, yo, Beyblade Burst goes on for 10 seasons or, or longer, right? Who knows? Maybe Beyblade will never have a break, ever, from it just, now on. You no, know, it doesn't make sense for it to have a break, it, to be honest with you, in my sense. opinion. It never right? did in the first place, right? To have yeah. that gap between generations didn't make any sense. Like, like the hiatus yeah, between, uh, like, two years, three years, and then yeah. we see it again. And but. the gap between, like, original Beyblade and Metal Fight, right? Like, that, it didn't make any sense. But, yo, this anime is getting six seasons in total. Metal Fight, we had, what, three Right? Plus zero G. The zero G that this like that was like a write off. It doesn't even count. Right? <laughs> Basically, but yeah, then the original Beyblade had like about three seasons ish too. So yeah, a um, bunch of movies and stuff. Uh, but yeah, like we're getting a ton of Beyblade Burst content. Ever since Be Beatemon uh, was announced, we all thought, okay, that's it. Like Beyblade is you know stepping yeah. away. Like Beatemon's gonna take the exactly. spot. Exactly, moving over. But yo, Beatemon ended up being underwhelming too. Like the release of the toys, like using bottle caps, like that's wow. Like, don't. Don't, That's don't whack, slam on them. You know? You're like, dude, okay, beat em on is still cool overall, but I'm saying the like, I'm liking yo, the bottle caps, man. Bottle caps? Bottle cap shooters? Yo, you can bottle have bottle caps. Like, unlimited yeah, ammo. Yeah, it's true. Point. You can find bottle caps from anywhere. You can go pick it off the street, but. I, I think it's pretty sick. It actually. will never be as cool as Beyblades, man. Like, a right. actual we're just biased. dedicated toy. Yeah. We're just biased. I'm biased because I, <laughs> I just love the Beyblades too much. I can't. See myself downgrading from a sick sparking bay to a bottle cap toy. All right, bruh. All the beat em on fans are right like <laughs> unsubscribed, so you better shut up. Now. Yo, well, I'm just speaking the truth, man. Dude, keep it at 100. All right, all this right. BBG talks. Um, so some of your reactions with the season six stuff, um, which is gonna feature, give you guys a shout out. Uh, actually, was pretty thought provoking. I thought of the same thing too. Um, so definitely tell us in the comment section below as well. Definitely. Uh, Supa Dave 3 said, kind of hope they move away from double chassis and not towards limit break though. So something new. Something new. Like you guys, are you guys not liking the limit break or you guys feel like it's too much? Uh, I think the new gimmick is it's pretty sick, but uh, it's it is kind of different because it's not yeah. compatible with your previous stuff, right? Yeah, so exactly. like, I get I get you. It's a whole separate thing. Uh, someone said they're looking forward to a Harusud. <laughs> <laughs> Guess uh, Maybe. yeah, we haven't seen him in a while. Yeah, give you a comeback. That's true. Um, on my Twitter, I actually got asked, uh, "What are some things that we would like to see?" So that that was a little interesting too, because I didn't really think about it too much until it was asked that. But like, do you have anything specific that you want to see? Wow, putting me on the spot now. Yeah. Okay. Well, I'll I'll, I'll tell you what I wrote on on my Twitter then sure. at least. So I replied to one two about this. Um, so I said that I would love to see Vault and the gang come back as the main characters, right? It's about time. I think Vault deserves a spotlight again, right? Um, and then I also wanted to see more battles that are more dangerous and more intense. So I think I've said this before in other BBG talks as well, 
but you know back in metal fight where you're like blowing up mountains and you got like even the original Beyblade like when you got when your Beyblade got hit you got hit like you suffered damage yourself physically okay. so I feel like that type of aspect so more of a, like a fantasy aspect fantasy but at the same time it also makes it a little bit more mature as well you know what I mean because like I can kind of get it like Beyblade Burst they want to make it a little bit more kid friendly right not too like gruesome and stuff but yo, I wouldn't mind if, you know, our main character is like Vault, they actually get hurt hurt from an epic battle, and then they gotta go into like recovery and all yeah, that, that stuff and train, like, that's that, like that's Metal Fight. That's real dark, that's real dark. Dude, it's like Metal Fight in an original Beyblade, like, it's that's, a little more intense, you know? Okay, okay, gotcha. I, I, thought, that's of one. I, mean. I thought of one, I thought Yeah. I wanna see a Beyblade movie. Another Beyblade? Okay. Dude, okay. we haven't seen one single Beyblade Burst movie yeah, yet. Yeah. We've gotten a movie from the original yeah. um, Beyblade. Yeah, yeah. We've got a too. movie of like the, the, the sun... Beyblade, uh, in the Metal Fight yep. series, yeah, yeah. Um, like Soul Place. I think that will bring in a lot of hype, like a separate, like story. an actual theater release. Yeah, you know? yeah, yeah. That'll be cool. Yeah, I don't know if we would get that in North America. I mean, usually when they do release like an anime movie, it's like one showing, <laughs> in, like, <laughs> in like one specific city and stuff like that. Well, so, we yeah. gotten like series after series now, like seasons after season. Yeah. So. Anything can happen at this point. We deserve it. As long as fans <laughs> show their support, anything yep. can happen. You guys you guys deserve it, okay? All Baby Burst fans, you guys deserve a movie. Make it happen, let's go! <laughs> uh, voice yeah, actors, guys. Like... Voice actors. <laughs> yeah, we'll yeah. be like some psycho, like, go! Go, Vault! We love you! <laughs> <laughs> Alright, guys, so um, that's... Is that kind of what we have? That's Everything it. we have, yeah. That's it, guys. It's a ton of news, and honestly, it's just going to be a super hype holiday season. A bunch of stuff's coming out. Um, and then rolling into 2021, it's already looking to be a better year. So yeah, continue to stay safe, stay healthy. Uh, but yeah, look forward to what's to come in 2021 because uh, yeah, we got some good stuff. Yeah, uh, so thanks for tuning in to this episode of BBG Talks. We'll see you guys next time. Yeah, and as, as always, always, geeks out! out.